I praise the Lord, everyone. Thank you for tuning in with Dr. Leisha the Preacher. I decided to have a little lunch at the lake today. Um, even though I live in the projects in the hood and everything, I'm like a two minute drive, three minute drive tops from a lake, okay? The same lake where my dream home is, okay? Hello. Um, and y'all know somebody else had bought my dream home, you know, but that's okay. Y'all know my history. When I'm ready for my dream home, I'm going to knock on that door and then people going to have to go. But anyway, so um, I'm out at the lake and near the lake is a little restaurant. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's right there. It's like um, a lakeside little diner, lakeside diner. And so I, I picked up, here's my little lunch. So I'm going to have lunch with you guys by the lake, okay? So I'm going to sit you guys right here and just, you know, chit-chat with you. And I brought my book with me. It's called um, Critical Thinker. And I haven't um, read it since I either when I was working on my master's degree or my PhD, one of them. One of those degrees. Um, it says a master student text. So it might be master's level, who knows. But anyway, it's the sixth edition of Becoming a Critical Thinker. Now I've already read it because you know I had to, to pass my class back in the day. But um, what can I do to prop this phone up to keep it from falling? Let's see, hold on. Anyway, it's gonna be like that. That's good enough. But the blue sky is beautiful. You know, it's a beautiful day out here. Cause see, I live in Florida, y'all. And it's like, it gotta be 70 if I'm needing to take off my jacket, you know. And did y'all see my little shoes? They so cute, look. My little, you know, this is real popular in Florida wearing these little floofy, floofy shoes. <laughs> Love them. So anyway, God is so good. He is so good. Oh, he is so good. I'm just chilling. I want y'all to be able to see me a little bit, you know. I'm just chilling by the um, by the lake, eating my lunch. Oh, did they, did they give me a straw? I hope they give me a straw. Yes, I have a straw. Yes, 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 I have a straw. So I'm just sitting here having lunch, guys. And then I'm going to be reading my book because I want to make sure that, you know, the information, if I'm going to be trying to monetize this stuff that I'm presenting y'all, I want to make sure I'm giving y'all good quality stuff, you know, really good quality stuff. Would it be at lunchtime? You see a lot of business owners and stuff right through here. I see all these like such and such father and son plumbing trucks and stuff. I'm like, okay, I'm keeping, I'm keeping game, okay. <laughs> Who own what, you know? <laughs> Cause I'm all about the, who owns some shit, you know? <laughs> you gotta own a home, you gotta own a business. You know, cause I'm single y'all, shoot, I'm in Florida, I'm single. You know? Mm-hmm. And I'm having lunch <laughs> by the lake where the business owners hang out for lunch. Okay. Hello. You know, a feminine lady got to do what a feminine lady has to do. Divine fems. This is good. Well, the fries are a little um, brown. I like my fries good and cooked. But the chicken, the chicken, the chicken. These are some barbecue, honey barbecue chicken strips. These are huge suckers. This gonna last me like two or three days, this lunch. <laughs> this one lunch gonna last me two days. Because there's at least one, two, three, four pieces of these um, chicken. 
and it came it's like you get fries and you get big old premium strip size chicken and you get a drink too so it's like you can't go wrong with this lunch by the lake and the lake view is wonderful you know you see all the cars go by and the people <laughs> If it's against the law to be sitting where I'm sitting. Because it says, um, well, I'm, 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 well, anyway, I'm here. If the police come, I'm like, sorry, officer, sorry. <laughs> Am I sitting in the wrong place? <laughs> it's like I'm sitting on the sign. This is the sign. Oh, okay, well, whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is good. These fries are delicious. My chicken strips. Chicken strips are delicious. Finally, someone spoke. How nice. <laughs> it's such a beautiful day in Florida. You know, I'm in northern Florida. I'm not even in South Florida. I am so north. I am near... Um, Georgia, the Georgia line, state line, not too far. Mm -hmm. This is so good. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I want one of these houses around here one day. <laughs> I have a GoFundMe account about my house. My dream home. <laughs> so, we'll see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so my little drink and chicken strips. I'm hungry. Y'all finna eat another piece of this. Well, that was a half a piece, so. Hello. Mm -hmm. That was a half a piece, so. I'm hungry. Woo. They're probably like, who that crazy lady sitting up there? My thrift store dress on. But my shoes are not thrift store shoes. They are beauty supply store shoes. <laughs> beauty supply store. Mmm. Mmm, so good. That want some? Yeah. Now, like, don't be giving no fry. I want some chicken. I got some chicken. That chicken look good, don't y'all? <laughs> I'm gonna have to eat that paste hanging for y'all. Right there. Mmm. Mmm, -hmm, so good. Wow. Mmm. I, I was. I didn't realize how hungry I was. And we don't have church today, so my day is wide open to just chill at the lake. It's not a beach, but, you know, I mean, as you go around this whole lake, there's, like, <clears throat> exercise equipment. They have, um, you know, like, little play areas for the kids, you know, little play spots for the kids as you go around the lake. And then they got the little diner to eat. You know. Uh, 
but there are alligators in that water i'm just telling y'all alligators in the water i'll be looking trust i'll be looking you gotta watch for them turtles too it's a lot of turtles in the water mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, mm. <laughs> it feels so nice. I feel like I'm in Jamaica. Jamaica is my favorite vacation spot. Jamaica, Jamaica. I fly into Matingo Bay, and then from there. I have to take a shuttle to wherever else, you know. But I usually end up in um, the grill. Oh. Yeah. Well, wherever the new resort is, I go to Hedonism. <laughs> That's my spot, Hedonism. Did y'all know I'm a nudist? Yeah. They better be glad I got any clothes on out here, okay? You know what I'm saying? This little tennis dress. A little tennis dress. How ironic a tennis dress. How funny. <laughs> and see, you know, sitting at the lake is free. I mean, it costs six fifty to get my lunch. Which I don't usually do that. This is special. I don't know why I'm so special today. Mm, but anyway. Um, you know, but coming here is free. You know, I just sit, chill, read a book. You know. But now that the weather is getting a little better, I'm going to come out here and um, make more videos. Because it's so peaceful. Just peaceable. And just like, you know, and I, I, I like to walk around. I take about a good 10, 15 minutes to get all the way around the way I walk. Because I just walk. You know, I'm 51, y'all, I'm old. So I just kind of, you know, take my time. I don't be power walking, hustling or nothing, you know. Yeah, yeah. So divide them. You're a long time. Act like you're a college student. That's what I'm doing. I ain't got no husband, no boyfriend, no man, no woman right now. None of that. I'm free. Woo, woo. Get up when I want to get up. Lay down when I want to lay down. Cook what I, when I want to cook. You know, wherever. And you know, if we want to go on a date, we just go, have a good time, and then bring our asses back on home to our peace and solitude. Peace and solitude. Yep, 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 yep. Are the yep, 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 yips? Was that on um, Sesame Street? Where it was some puppets that was like, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> That's so silly. I don't know what made me think of that. Whew. This food is so good. I can't stop eating. Let me drink something then. I could not stop eating. 
I can't believe I'm sitting on this sign. Hello. He hauling big old barrels of hay. I live in the country, y'all, so. You know, I, I am getting so many more waves. <laughs> For the record, I think what four cars rolled by and waved. And they were all white men so far. I'm just saying. Turn. I'm here. <clears throat> Let me see what kind of truck this one driving over there. The, the, the last one that just rolled by and, and waved. He kind of younger. He looks like he delivering something. So he might be a businessman if he delivering something to the um he's delivering something to the diner. Mm -hmm. Yo. He ain't, you know, trying to order nothing, okay? That water is so pretty. Can y'all hear the birds chirping? <laughs> I hear the birds chirping. Mm -hmm. Y'all just don't know the kind of stuff be going through my mind. <laughs> <laughs> now that was a lady that was so sweet you know a mature lady I don't know why I'm letting my fingers get so dirty I'm getting barbecue sauce all over my fingers Well, y'all know I'm ghetto and hood project experiment zone. I'm licking the fingers. Oh, well. <laughs> I paid for this barbecue sauce. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. I want to give a shout out to one of the mothers at the church. One of the mothers at the church, she makes sure I eat every day. She makes sure I eat every day. So I get one, at least one good meal a day. And she pay for me a lunch every day. I'm like, that is so sweet. She be like, she'll call me, Sister Leisha. I'm like, yes, mother. You eat today? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> and she'll be like, well, let's go to so-and-so. I'm like, okay, I'll come pick you up. <laughs> That's so cute. Wow, I haven't eaten like this. My my appetite is increasing, thank God. Thank God. A couple months ago, phew, I was hardly eating anything. Now I'm tearing this chicken up today. And got it on video. Pigging out on TV. 
but I was watching one of my favorite readers. And she just turned on her camera and just, you know, share random moments. You know, just random moments. And I'm like, that's very personal. I like that. She do it live, but I don't have enough view um, subscribers to go live yet. I think I have to have like a thousand viewers or subscribers to be, um, I probably got food on my lips and stuff. Y'all can see it. I can't. And, um, I had that like a thousand and I am like at 180 something. <laughs> it may not sound like much, but I've been, you know, just slowly like a little turtle creeping up, creeping up, creeping up <laughs> with my subscribers. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna just keep being me. And um I encourage all the divine all divines whether you're a man or a woman whether you're a masculine feminine karmic anyone in the kingdom you know stay encouraged stay encouraged keep each other encouraged and um, as a lot of these relationships are ending and whatnot changing evolving growing you know keep the fruits of the spirit employed especially among believers you know if you're in the divine kingdom and you're going through a separation divorce and you're both you know um that's that's very devastating but stay encouraged stay encouraged stay encouraged you know stay encouraged you will live to see another day but not just live to see another day, but another day that can, you know, have a sense of hope again, you know. Just a little bit, a little bit of hope, a little bit of, you know, sense of going on, you know. Some people can take breakups easy. Not, every ta not everybody take a breakup easy. Not everybody's the same. And you may have had 50 breakups in your life. And all of them went by the book, you know. No big deal, no big drama. And then you just get this one relationship and it just whew, take you off your whole entire game. And you'd be like, what the heck happened? You know, that particular relationship, that particular breakup just snatch the rug under your feet you know bamboozle you you feel who you know you just i don't know <clears throat> yeah yeah that's life you know it's life and we all must go on you know and only certain people will be able to relate to my channel and that's fine you know, people who, you know, live a life of biblical obedience and submission. Uh, people who are the long sufferers. You know, the people who are patient. People who tolerate a lot. Tolerate a lot. <clears throat> and then when you get two of those people together, oh my God. <laughs> Don't mess around and get two of them motherfuckers together. Jesus, Lord help. Only God can help. Only God can do it. Only God. Mm -hmm. But we all, with the strength of God, we be able to, you know, continue on. And God will heal us. Sometimes he'll heal us completely. Other times he'll heal us enough, you know. And whatever he decides to do with us, because we are his servants. And, uh, you know, 
we're his servant and we must obey him ultimately ultimately so um, so um, <clears throat> I lost my train of thought there but you know we must obey and uh and submit and uh and be there for other people and he does heal us and get us right back out there that's how we're built that's how we're wired it's all we know and we don't know anything else we don't know life any other way but to serve you know, be committed to endure long suffering. You know, everybody loves. Everybody loves. Love is just basic breathing. But in addition to breathing, in addition to love, it requires certain relationship skills in order to endure the relationship. Because each partner in any relationship dynamic requires some type of growth. And you're employed in that position to facilitate growth, to initiate growth. And some people are willing to grow and others are not. They don't want to grow. They want to stay exactly the same. And that's fine, you know. And, and we all must learn to respect each other's choices. And stop taking that shit so personally. But above and beyond that, don't commit to some shit you know you can't do. We all need to do that. Stop over committing ourselves to situations, people, circumstances that we know that we cannot see through. And we all got to know when to throw in the towel. And for me, the year 2008, when between that Bush and Obama transition, that's when I, I my eyes, that's when I, be, I begin to wake up. And I start busting all kind of moves, busting all kind of moves. From 2008 all the way to 2020. I don't know how many years that was. Eight. What, 12 years or something? I don't know. Yeah, about 12 years. Um, my Lord. I, I was just busting moves preparing. I saw all the writing on the wall. All the biblical scriptures start coming to life. And I said, Lord, this, Lord. I see this, I see this, I see this. And I started putting stuff on Facebook. I started talking to people and telling people stuff. And making decisions. And, you know, and just moving, moving, moving. And people who agreed got blessed. Those who didn't agree didn't get blessed. You know. And you may look at me and say, why you think you so blessed, girl? You live in the projects, you. You know. Hold on. You never know what's going to crawl. <laughs> no, you know, you, you know. You, you ain't got shit. You know what I'm saying? Why are you so blessed that you ain't got shit? <laughs> well, I don't know about um anybody else in the world, in the entire world. But <clears throat> I just ate lunch in the sun at a lake. And I really don't owe nobody nothing. And don't nobody really owe me nothing. Not really. 
I'm so free right now, Till. Whether I'm alive or dead, it's about the same value right now. That's how free I am. If I was if I was to die right now, no one in my life would necessarily notice or be no. Unless somebody notified. They wouldn't know otherwise. That's how free I am. And so some days when you alone and you just free, you ask yourself, am I alive or am I dead? Because it don't seem to really be a, a difference. It really don't. You know, that's 